Scene one. But you know, this is not just any toxic chemicals, so you the Han River is very Beside the broad, Han River. Mr. Kim. Let's try to be Korea. broad minded about this. Sometime soon. So start pouring. It's a warm, sunny day. People sit sunning themselves on the banks of the Han River, eating, drinking, Gung-gu and talking. Walks into the frame. It's quiet. His body in profile. Maybe too quiet. The camera follows Gangyu as he approaches a group of people sitting near the edge of the river on Mat 4. Mat 4, I've brought your order. Put it down there, the man says distractedly, pointing to the mat, while looking out towards the river. What are you looking at? The camera moves slowly, following Gangyu and there. the people gazing out Can at the river. Can you see that? How long has it been there? Fast forward. Tight shot of four curious characters framed head on their faces staring off-centre at something beyond the camera. Their voices ping-pong back and forth with suggestions, testing the possibilities. It's been a while. It's construction equipment. Something they hung. I don't think so. It's moving. Cut. View of the concrete bridge spanning the broad Han River. City skyline in the far distance. At the centre of the frame is the thing just hanging under the bridge. The thing lowers itself, uncurling until, with the grace of an Olympic diver, it dives head first into the river below with a big splash. Fast forward. It's huge. Amongst the anxious, hushed voices, the sound of clunk as Gangdu drops his drink can. Cut. A moment passes. Then, out of the murky water, a huge tentacle grabs the can. Oh, did you see that? He ate the can! What God! Now other people in the group begin to throw food in. Cut. Camera moves out. A huge dark shape screen. moves under the water. The onlookers are a fringe on the bottom of the screen, their backs to the camera, as they throw a barrage of missiles into the dark water. The crowd chatters amiably, dispersing. There's a sense of relief. It seems over. Back to business as usual. Cut. Gangdu stands in the centre of the frame. Suddenly, looking down he notices the banks of the something river. down the river's edge. He straightens. The camera watches His face him head begins on. to unravel. The camera zooms in now towards the shot. Now he looks stunned, horrified. Face. His mouth agape. His body rooted to the ground. Cut. The camera is behind Gangdu. His head and back fill one side of the screen, while over his shoulder we look down the river's edge, seeing what he sees. A huge thing with a tail lopes up the riverbank. People run and scramble to get out of its way. The camera pulls Some back fall fast into as the, water. the monster runs towards us. People turn and run, screaming with panic. The camera follows the monster. The monster is a horrifying vision straight out of a Hieronymus Bosch painting. It has the head and tail of a fish, the lope and muscular body of a giant lizard. It mows down everyone in its way, or gobbles them up in its huge flapping mouth, a mouth that looks like a giant vagina. Cut. Suddenly it is dead quiet. Tight shoulder shot of a young girl with headphones absorbed with her nails. Blurry In movement. contrast, the green background is blurry with some sudden movement. The noise and panic are shut out and the only sounds are the sweet strains of an aria. The girl is in sharp focus. Suddenly she turns, sensing something. The instant that she turns, she is hit by a huge green webbed foot and dragged along the grass. Her headphones ripped off. The noise of terror is now heard. That's right. Let's just dump them in the Han River. 